the best running back that I have ever seen, ever. Tomlinson, left side, inside the 10, to the 5, game's over. Is there anything LT cannot do? LT stands for Ladanian Tomlinson, a quick and elusive runner who used stiff arms to break tackles. One of the best running backs in NFL history. This man was a beast. He was strong on inside runs and had a signature move of jumping over the line in goal line situations. Tomlinson wore a dark visor for most of his career to prevent migraines from stadium lights, which also made it hard for defenders to read his eyes. When he retired, Tomlinson ranked fifth in NFL history for rushing attempts and yards and second in rushing touchdowns. He had 47 games with over 100 rushing yards and three with over 100 receiving yards. He was also third in receptions by a running back, catching 624 passes for 4,772 yards and 17 touchdowns. In total, he ranked fourth in touches, fifth in yards from scrimmage, and third in total touchdowns. He was only the second player after Walter Payton to rush for over 13,000 yards and catch passes for over 4,000 yards. However, to understand how great Tomlinson really was, you have to look back to where he started. Ladanian Tomlinson was born on June 23, 1979, in Rosebud, Texas. His mother was a preacher, and his father left when Tomlinson was seven, so he didn't see him much after that. He grew up with a brother, a sister, a half-sister, and three half-brothers. At age nine, he joined Pop Warner football and scored a touchdown the first time he touched the ball. In high school, at University High in Waco, Texas, Tomlinson played football, basketball, baseball, and ran track. He started as a linebacker and fullback, but shined as a running back, rushing for 2,554 yards and 39 touchdowns in his senior year. He was named District MVP and Offensive Player of the Year. People knew he was going to be great. Tomlinson accepted a football scholarship to Texas Christian University, TCU, playing for the Horn Frogs from 1997 to 2000. Before he arrived, TCU had struggled with only one bowl appearance in the previous 12 seasons. But Tomlinson quickly made an impact, setting an NCAA record in 1999 by rushing for 406 yards in a single game against UTEP. He ended his junior year with 1,850 yards and 18 touchdowns. Tomlinson played in the Senior Bowl in 2001, where he was named MVP, helping the South team win. TCU retired his number five jersey in 2005, and Tomlinson graduated with a degree in communications that same year. In 2014, he was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. The Chargers had already shown interest in Ladanian Tomlinson and were able to grab him with the fifth pick after the Cleveland Browns, who might have gone for a running back, passed on it. They also selected Drew Brees in the second round to address the quarterback issue. Tomlinson was relieved to avoid the Browns and felt confident joining a rebuilding team, comparing it to his experience at TCU, where his team went 1-10 his freshman year. Tomlinson held out through most of training camp due to contract negotiations, but eventually signed a six-year, $38 million deal in late August. He missed the first two preseason games and was benched for the third, though he played briefly in the last one. On September 9th, Tomlinson made his NFL debut in a win over the Washington Redskins, carrying the ball 36 times for 113 yards and two touchdowns. The 36 carries were among the highest in team history, and the 113 yards set a new record for a Chargers rookie in his first game. Despite a strong start, Tomlinson's production slowed over the rest of the season. He finished with 1,236 rushing yards, the second most in franchise history, and 367 receiving yards, for a total of 1,603 yards from scrimmage. This broke Lance Allworth's long-standing record. However, the Chargers struggled and ended the season on a nine-game losing streak with a 5-11 record. Tomlinson finished ninth in the league for rushing yards and tied for fourth in rushing touchdowns. However, his 3.6 yards per carry ranked only 31st among players with 100 or more carries, and he led non-quarterbacks in fumbles with eight. Tomlinson had an impressive 2002 season, breaking or tying several franchise records. He started strong with 114 rushing yards and a touchdown in a dominant win over the Cincinnati Bengals. In week four, he rushed for 217 yards and two touchdowns against the defending Super Bowl champion New England Patriots, tying a Chargers record for most rushing yards in a game. For this performance, he earned his first AFC Offensive Player of the Week award. In Week 13, Tomlinson had one of the best games of his career, rushing for 220 yards and three touchdowns, while also catching 11 passes for 51 yards in an overtime win over the Denver Broncos. This game included a 76-yard run, his longest at that point, and he set a new franchise record with 271 yards from scrimmage. Although the Chargers were 8-4 after their win over the Broncos, they lost their final four games and missed the playoffs. Tomlinson finished the year with 1,683 rushing yards, the second most in the NFL, and set a new franchise record with 14 rushing touchdowns. His yards per carry improved significantly to four and a half, and he tied a team record for receptions by a running back with 79. 
Tomlinson led the league in touches, again with 451, a career high and the third most in NFL history at the time. Tomlinson's stellar season earned him his first Pro Bowl nomination, along with Junior Sal, and he was named a second-team All-Pro by the Associated Press. In the 2003 offseason, the Chargers signed fullback Lorenzo Neal, who had a history of blocking for 1,000-yard rushers and had just earned his first Pro Bowl selection. Neal would later be credited by Tomlinson as being instrumental in his career, with Tomlinson even choosing him to introduce him at his Hall of Fame induction. Despite the Chargers finishing 4-12 that season, Tomlinson had standout performances. In Week 4, he threw his first career touchdown pass on a trick play and rushed for 187 yards and a touchdown against the Raiders. In the regular season finale, Tomlinson became the first player in NFL history to surpass 1,000 rushing yards and 100 receptions in a single season. He finished the game with 243 rushing yards, a career high. In 2004, Tomlinson signed a massive eight-year, $60 million contract, the richest ever for a running back at the time. He had another productive year, scoring in 14 games, including a 12-game streak. His rushing totals were down, but he led the NFL in rushing touchdowns for the first time with 17. He also helped the Chargers secure their first playoff berth since 1995, a moment Tomlinson described as long-awaited. Tomlinson's ability to dominate both as a runner and receiver set him apart, and though the Chargers struggled as a team, his individual accolades continued to grow. His leadership and consistent production laid the foundation for his Hall of Fame career. Tomlinson entered the 2005 season on a streak of 12 straight games with at least one rushing touchdown, just shy of the NFL record. He tied the record in Week 1 and broke it in Week 2, although the Chargers lost both games. In Week 3, Tomlinson exploded with 192 rushing yards, three touchdowns, and a 26-yard touchdown pass, leading the Chargers to a win over the Giants and earning him AFC Offensive Player of the Week honors. But despite his strong early season performances, Tomlinson's production dipped in the final five games due to a rib injury later revealed to be cracked. In 2006, San Diego transitioned to Phillip Rivers as their starting quarterback, following Drew Brees' departure. Though Tomlinson expressed confidence in Rivers, he later suggested that the inexperience of the young quarter back cost the Chargers a Super Bowl opportunity. By week six, Tomlinson had a four-touchdown performance against the 49ers, tying the Chargers' single-game record. Tomlinson then embarked on an eight-game stretch where he rushed for at least 100 yards and two touchdowns in each game, leading the Chargers to eight straight wins. His streak included standout games, like a 183-yard, three-touchdown performance against the Rams, and a game against the Bengals, where he rushed for four touchdowns to lead a 21-point comeback. In Week 14, with a chance to clinch the AFC West, Tomlinson scored twice, including a record-breaking 29th touchdown of the season, surpassing Sean Alexander's single-season touchdown record. The moment was celebrated as one of the most memorable in his career, as his teammates lifted him in triumph. Tomlinson's 2006 season was one for the history books, capped off by numerous records and accolades that highlighted his dominance on the field. Ladanian Tomlinson had an extraordinary season in 2006, leading the league with 1,815 rushing yards and setting a record with 28 rushing touchdowns. He added 508 receiving yards, with his 9.1 yards per catch being a career high at the time. Tomlinson was responsible for 33 of the Chargers' 59 total touchdowns that season, including two passing touchdowns. His contributions helped San Diego achieve a 14-2 record, their best in franchise history. For his efforts, Tomlinson was named the NFL MVP by several organizations, including the Associated Press and the Pro Football Writers of America. He also shared the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award with Drew Brees and was named a unanimous first-team All-Pro. In 2007, Tomlinson's performance remained strong, although not quite at the same level as the previous year. He became the first player since Edgerin James to win back-to-back -back rushing titles, with 1,474 rushing yards and 15 touchdowns. His season included notable moments such as surpassing Walter Payton on the all-time rushing touchdown list. The Chargers won their first playoff game since 1994, and Tomlinson scored a crucial touchdown. Throughout this period, Tomlinson solidified his status as one of the NFL's greatest running backs, known not just for his on-field accomplishments, but also for his integrity and commitment to community service. Despite the ups and downs, his impact on the Chargers' success and the league as a whole was undeniable. From 2008 until his retirement, Ladanian Tomlinson's career experienced a steady decline in production, but he still contributed as a reliable player. In 2008, injuries began to affect him, and although he still managed to surpass 1,000 rushing yards, his stats were well below his earlier peak. After nine seasons with the San Diego Chargers, Tomlinson was released by the team in 2010. He signed with the New York Jets, where he played the final two seasons of his career. In 2010, Tomlinson showed flashes of his former self, rushing for 914 yards and catching 52 passes. He helped the Jets reach the AFC Championship game, but they lost to the Pittsburgh Steelers. By 2011, 
Tomlinson's role had diminished further as he transitioned into a supporting role, finishing the season with 280 rushing yards and 42 receptions. He announced his retirement in June 2012, signing a ceremonial one-day contract with the Chargers so he could retire with the team where he made his mark. Tomlinson finished his career ranked fifth all-time in rushing yards and second in rushing touchdowns. His legacy as one of the greatest running backs of all time was cemented when he was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2017. Tomlinson's career was defined by his consistency, versatility as a runner and receiver, and his remarkable ability to score touchdowns. Even as injuries and age slowed him in his later years, he remained a respected figure and beloved teammate. Be sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching.